Hey guys, what's up? As I, as I was told you on the last video that I would make a video on how to solve the problem about the installers and the problem basically you get the when you try to download any app you get an error called RPA so if I try to download this one if I click on install it will give me a error on RPA or something there you go, it's, you can say it says invalid RPA and no matter no matter how many times you try, it just says that, and you, and you cannot download any app. So what I did is basically I I went on a YouTube and search how to fix this problem, and uh, and a few few videos also it basically says to go on a CDR and reinstall your installers, but it basically doesn't work anymore. So I found out, <coughs> sorry, I found out an, a, another way to do this. It's basically oh, what what I'm doing is to use an app another app same as the installers but not not installer so it's called app cake so if you go to CDR and CDR so yeah it's also gonna take time so we will just wait for a bit yeah there you go so if you go to CDR manage source and if you click edit add I will have a link below this video in my description, which is cdr.arphoncake.com. And uh, when you when you add this, that link, you should see a new bar that says arphoncake.com. <coughs> Sorry. And if you go on that, uh, there will be a first thing we'll call app cake plus. So if you click on that. And mine it says modify because I already have installed. So what you guys basically did you install that app and go back <coughs> and uh, find it on your iPod or iPhone screen. For me, it's just here. So um, the benefit of this app is first of all that it really works, and second thing that actually gives you a process research result. So if I go into more. Up. Angry but if I click search, it will only just give me all the app related to Angry Birds. Whereas if you try on installers, it will it will give you some extra apps as well, which are not related to Angry Bird. So if I go to Angry Bird. HT or Angry Bird Season or anything. Uh, there's a link, basically same as the installers. If you click on that, you can you can download it, and it's basically the same process as it's installers. You click on that, you wait for 10 or 15 or seconds, and you download it, and it just comes to your phone. So yeah, guys, there you go. That's uh, that's the solution that I found, and hopefully you like it.